Submitting your scenes to the Render Network has never been easier with the launch of Otoy's Render Network C4D Wizard that can now be incorporated directly in a Cinema 4D. The Wizard was created to help support the use of native Cinema 4D files on the Render Network, which has been implemented to remove the need for artists to export Orbix files and upload them to the Render Network, creating a more frictionless workflow. Installing the wizard is very straightforward. Once you unzip this file, you will want to place the entire Render Network C4D folder contents inside your C4D plugins folder. The easiest way to navigate to your C4D plugins folder is by going into Cinema 4D, going to Edit, going to Preferences, and then down in the bottom left-hand corner, you will say Open Preferences Folder. Navigate to your C4D version and go into the plugins folder. Now simply drag and drop your entire Render Networks folder into your Cinema 4D plugins folder. You can also install this plugin by placing the same folder inside the C4D root folder within plugins. You will then need to relaunch Cinema 4D. Now for launching the Render Network Wizard. Go to the top of your menu in Cinema 4D and go to Extensions and the Render Network. Now this will launch the splash screen. You will see there's some helpful links here or you can just go straight to Open Wizard. Now running the wizard. Let's start with the check settings. You can create a backup before running, and this creates a backup of the project with the original non-destructive assets. For example, text objects can be converted during this process to a Limbix because of potentially unsupported fonts on the network. This will now save your original file as a backup in case you need to go back and make changes to the file that is non-destructive. Now let's look at create zip after check. This automatically creates a zip file after check. The wizard will notify you about assets having an absolute path and offer a way to consolidate footage or localize file names. However, this step can be ignored if you are letting the wizard unpack the zip anyway, since it will do this step automatically. Ignore warnings. This ignores all warnings in your scene if you know you have assets that are not needed in your render and wish to proceed forward regardless. And now open folder after export. This opens the folder to the file path of the zip file after check zip is run. And finally, Open Artist Portal in Browser opens your default web browser to the Render Network's Artist Portal where you can now submit your scene to the network. Let's move on to General Settings. You can set your file path or you can leave it at default. And Expert Mode. When you know your scene will render and are using the wizard as a packer, just take note it will do some automatic operations like converting Octane Mix materials to composite materials and making things run more efficient on the render network. The Check Zip icon. Selecting and clicking Check Zip will begin to check the file. During this process, the wizard will check your C4D version against the one on the network. If it notifies you that your C4D version is higher than the one on the network, it doesn't mean that it won't work but you should make sure that you're only using features that would be supported on the older version. As an example, if you are using C4D 2024 with new soft body dynamics, while the network is on C4D 2023, the file won't yet work on the network, but if you only use features which are present in 2023, it will work. Same when there is an Octane or Redshift version mismatch. This process will also check for uncached dynamic simulations like cloth, soft body, rigid body, and more, and offers a way to cache them all at once. It also checks ICIO settings and for unsupported objects like everything around Python and much more. Once you click and select check zip, you will see a loading bar at the bottom. After the check is complete, it will pack the project and open the folder containing your zip file, which can be uploaded to your scene on the render network. Let's jump back over to our C4D wizard so we can take a look at our entries that were created upon check zip. The first section will be looking for any files in your scene and their path. Now, if you let the wizard zip your file, this will be done automatically for you. The second looks at unsupported plugins found. Here it says unsupported plugin, and if I tab it down, it says HDRI link plus. Since this plugin is just simply making it easier for me to link to an image texture, I know this is not going to be an issue on the render network since it already collected all my files. Then check render engine version matches the network and it will list all the render versions that are currently active on the render network. And below that, check the version of Cinema 4D is supported. And here it's giving me a warning that there is a Cinema 4D version mismatch. But in this case, since I'm not using any tools in 2024 that aren't in 2023, there will be no issue on the render network. Now let's hop over to the Cinema 4D render settings. This process is good to do prior to launching the Render Network Wizard. 
The renderer type in your Cinema 4D render settings needs to be set to the proper render engine of your project. This will automatically sync when launching the render network wizard. And to wrap this all up, nesting or docking the render network wizard launcher icon into your interface is excellent for easy access. You can do this simply by going into your command manager and placing it into any of your menus. You'll want to make sure you save this menu layout if you want it to be incorporated directly into Cinema 4D upon launching in the future.